Alright guys, we're back to High Rollers on the Rodney 1279 channel in which Mark has won a dining room group worth $2,872 in your winnings. Now Mark is a total of um, $40,347, Mark. Alright. And uh, guys, are y'all ready for game number two? Yeah. Let's do it. Alright, let me tell you the prizes you'll be playing for game number two. If you are a true gamer, well, this inlaid Italian marble game table is for you. It contains poker, backgammon, um, checkers, pool table, all the fixings of a game table. This game table is worth $8,000. Next, we have an estate ride-on mower. If you get tired of your grass growing every, th every day, well, this mower is just for you. It cuts up to two feet of grass at one time. This mower is worth $4,750. And if you like to design your house, you can have this oriental rug. This oriental rug is good for the living room floor or just for a design. And this oriental rug is worth $9,450. So this whole board is worth over $22,000, okay? $22,200 is that. Thank you very much, Steve. I knew I was close. <laughs> All right, here we go with round number three. Here comes the board. Now, as y'all see, bad news. There's no hot columns on this board, but... You can work it out, I'm sure. Okay, guys? Okay. And who moved the chat box? No more in the chat box, guys. Because I have to see the numbers. I got you, Rod. If anybody posts, I'll let you know. Right, I'm going to put the numbers back up here. Oh, hold on. Okay, and we're ready for are questions for round number two. Okay, according to the old saying, does a stitch in time save thread? Uh, who buzzed in? That was me. All right, what's your answer, Corey? Stitch in time always saves nine. That's correct, Corey, good job. All right, Corey, so I know you want to roll the dice, just let me know when you want me to roll them. Let them fly. It's a double! There we go. Corey, you just earned yourself an insurance marker. I'm gonna put it on your side of the board so that is in case if you roll a bad roll, you can use that, okay? To get another roll. Double, it helps to keep you out of trouble. Yes. Now, you rolled a four, so how do you want to take that four off? There's some good combinations here to do this with, but there's no definitive hot column, so I'll just take four the hard way. Four the hard way? There it is, and we'll take the four out on the chat box. Oh, wait a minute. No, I don't want to do that, because that will... Just want to take the four out. There it is. And we'll take the four out on the game board. And we're ready for our next question. Just give me a yes or no statement, okay? Is there milk in New England clam chowder? Corey. Yeah. Yes, there is. You're right. Of course, of course because the milk is the cream. Right. right. You eat some clam chowder, I assume. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather make it myself, but most of the time it's usually just potato cheese soup. Right. And looking at the board, it looks like all the numbers are good. Corey, you ready to roll? Yep. Here we go. Just let me know. I hear them shaking and let them fly. That does not count. It's off the board. We got to do it again. All right. Roll them again. They're shaking. They're flying. It's a seven. How do you want to take that seven off? Let's go the five two. The five two, okay. 
Let's take the five and two off on the chat box. You got your um your insurance marker just in case if you get in trouble. Now the three is in the um the third um column, guys, just in case if y'all get confused. Wait a minute. There we go. And we got rid of the, uh, got rid of the five and the two. Okay, and we're ready for our next question. Another yes or no question, guys. Did film, did fame film star Greta Garbo ever get married? Corey. She did. Did she? Yes. All right, this is an old board game. So this was back in 1988. She did get married. Somebody looked that up for me. Oh, go ahead. What's her name? Greta Garbo. Garbo. We'll take a minute to look that up. Garlo? Garbo. Garbo. Hang on. Now, if she, if she did, then I'm going to change it. Greta Garbo. Right. Uh, Greta Garbo. Here we go. I found her IMDb. Let me see here. Let me look here. Oh, she's smoking. Yeah, did she ever get married? Let me look. I'm looking up on Wiki. Relationships. Okay. Garbo never had, never married, had no children. Right, so this game is right. So you're wrong, Corey. So uh, Mark gets the row. And uh, and even this book says it says that she wanted to be alone. So Mark, you get it. So Mark, you have a decision to make. Let's see. We know um, the four is good. The three is good. The um, the five is a bad number. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve is good. Now you can play it or pass it to Corey if you want to, Mark. Uh. Okay, point one bad number, I'll take my chances for the dice. All right, just let me know when. All right, uh, now. It's a double. So now you get an insurance marker, Mark. So y'all both got insurance markers now, and your roll is a 10. How do you want to take out the 10? Nine and one, please. Nine and one, and that clears out a column. Wait a minute, we don't want to bring that back up. And we're going to give you the, the inlay game table. It's yours if you win the game. And we'll take the 9-1 um, off on here. The 9-1 off in the chat box. And both of y'all are in very good shape because y'all both got insurance markers now. All right, so there's the numbers that are left. Game table is on the line for Mark, and here is the next question. Was it Moses, Lot, or Cain whose wife turned into a pillar of salt? Corey. Cain. It wasn't Cain. Lot's wife turned into a pillar of salt. That's when she looked back. When she was looking back at Sodom and Gomorrah, she was allowed to leave the land. She was supposed to leave the land, but she did not leave the land. So she looked back and she was turned into a pillar of salt. So that means Mark gets the row. Now, let's look at your good rows, Mark. I know my Bible, don't I, guys? Yes, you certainly do. Yeah, Mark, um, now your uh, rows are a three, a six, a seven, an eight, a nine, a 10, and 11. So, um, you can uh, roll the dice if you want to, or you can pass it to Corey. Corey? 
They're yours. Corey, um, just let me know when. You got an insurance marker in case you mess up. Just let me know. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It is a four and that is a bad roll, so I'm going to take your insurance marker away. And you have one more chance at it, Corey. Now, if you mess up this time, Mark will win three times in a row. You can do it, Corey. Go for it. Here we go. It is an eight. And you cleared out, a, and you cleared out the column, uh, Corey. Okay. Come on, Dag. I screwed up. Ooh. Hold on. Well, no problem. I can fix this. I can fix this. Okay. Oop. You only cleared out the eight, and we're bringing this back up. There we go. No problems. No worries. <laughs> so, so we're going to take... So you have the um, estate right on mower that's worth $4,750. We're putting that on your side of the board. So somebody's going to win a prize at the end of this round here, I hope. So we got one column left of a three, six, and a, and a seven. You saw that uh, snafu, Gary? Mm. <laughs> well, are you saying I'm eating? A snafu? Yeah, I cleared the num all the numbers off the board by mistake. Yeah, I saw that, you goofball. <laughs> Alright, next question. Okay, to play the popular game of hearts, do you need a shuffleboard, a deck of cards, or a pair of dice? Corey. Deck of cards. That's correct, Corey. Now, Corey, your good rows I see are three, six, seven, nine, and ten. So you can play them or pass them. Three, six, seven, nine, and ten, you said, correct? Right. Unfortunately, if I had my insurance marker, I might have attempted it, but I don't, so I'm going to have to pass. And Mark has an insurance marker to work with. So, Mark, if you make a mistake, you can use your insurance marker. Just let me know when you want me to roll, Mark. Okay, uh, go. It is an 11, so we take your insurance marker away. And now, Mark, your uh, game table is in jeopardy. You have to roll a good number. Or um, Corey will tie the game up, okay? Let me know when. Alright, uh, let's go now. It is a seven. Well, only one way to clear that out. So right, the hard. seven itself. And we're still playing this round. We got the three, the six, and the nine left. They are good numbers. Wait a minute, let me just remove the message because we're done. So the three, six, and the nine combination. Okay, um, here is the next question, guys. Finger on dial pads. Have you found uranium, molasses, or oil if you discovered black gold? Corey. That's oil. Oil is correct, Corey. Good job. Now you, now you know the good numbers are three, six, and nine. Do you want player to pass? There's no question. I think you know where I'm sending it, Rodney. Now, Mark, here's the situation. Yeah. You roll a six, three, you're in good shape. You roll a six, you're in good shape. You roll a nine, you'll remain champion, and you'll win the $9,450 Oriental rug. Okay, Mark? This is a big yeah, roll. Let's, let's go for, let's hope for a nine. Come on, nine. And roll. It is a seven that is a bad row, and Corey, you tied up the game. Good. All right, Corey, you have just won an estate right on more worth $4,750. So y'all both won prizes. That, that's the good news. But guys, we're going to take another commercial break, and when we come back, we'll do the deciding game of high rollers. Don't go away.